Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. In the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now close this, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, go to properties once again and this time you can type in dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can remove this follow the next step. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Now over here you will see the game exe file. So make a right click. You can make a double click over here. Try to launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties and then go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game and then check still not working. This time uh, you can select Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check still not working. Select Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game still not working. Try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings. Go to privacy and security. Now click on Windows security. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom. You will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add and allow app, browser apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program file 636. Steam folder, Steam apps folder. And then open the common folder. Open the game folder select the game exe file over here and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then select the game exe file Select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, now launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to now do the same thing if you have any antivirus program like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee. Whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is done, launch the game and then check. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have MD card, go to MD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and your operating system and then click on find. Now on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver. Whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver, you can click on view and then you can download the file. And then once the download is complete, run this exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on OK and then click on agree and continue. Select custom option. Click on next. Put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. After the clean installation is done, restart the computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box. Click on graphic settings over here and then click on add desktop app, go to the game installation folder once again and open the game folder, select the game exe file. Select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, scroll down and find the game in the list. Click on the game over here and then select high performance over here and then you can launch the game. Next step is to disable integrated graphic card. So if your computer has a dual graphic card, make a right click, go to device manager, expand display adapter. And here you can see integrated graphic card. You can make a right click and disable this, relaunch the game and then check. Now, if, uh, if, you, if you face any problem, you can enable it. Or once you are done playing the game, you can come back and then you can enable it once again. Next step is to roll back graphics card driver. So if the latest graphic card driver is not working, so after you select the 
uh, graphic card and your operating system on this page click on view more version and you can try to install the older version of graphic card driver and once you install it make sure that you when you install it make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation click on next and after the clean installation you can check still not working use intel driver and support assistant to update your uh, computer now if you have like go to intel driver and support assistant and then you can download this install it and then you can launch intel driver and support assistant in my case it is already installed it will uh, once you launch it it will scan your computer if there is any update you can update it and then restart your computer and then check next step is to try power saver mode to try power saver mode type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel click on hardware and sound go to power options and over here you can select power saver if you have this option power saver select power saver relaunch the game you can even select balanced at and high performance check which one is working fine for you but first of all try power saver and then relaunch the game still not working uh, the next step is to disable or enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this open windows settings or you can type in graphics settings in windows search box click on graphics settings go to advanced graphics settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check if it is already off uh, like on you can turn it off and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down download this x86 and x64 version download both the files and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed you have to restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to disable or enable steam overlay if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then relaunch the game if this is already uh, disabled you can enable it and then check close other overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay close all the overlay application do not overclock set it default close all the overclocking application like if you have a msi afterburner revert inner, or any kind of overclocking application running close it next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate suppose this is just an example if your monitor refresh is refresh rate is 240 hertz you can lower it down to 120 hertz or maybe 60 hertz and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then 
select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now it's still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings and then go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart in here and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller disconnect external keyboard and mouse like if you have key crown or razor huntsman keyboard you can disconnect it relaunch the game and then check if you have undervolted you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working make a right click manage uninstall after the uninstall you can install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel